the one guy asked my husband if that was his truck parked out in the parking lot. And my husband said, yes, it is. And I don't know how else to describe it, but we were herded out the door. I mean, they literally were in our space, pushing us towards the exit as they were telling us that we weren't allowed to purchase anything, that we weren't allowed there, and that, and and I asked questions, you know, I'm like, why, what, what's wrong? And he's like, you're, you're not, you're, you're not, allowed to be here you're you have a, a truck what's up youtube welcome back to breaking truckers that's tomorrow and that is it for us today and we'll leave you with it i can't do it we'll do it live we'll do it live do it live I, i'll write it and we'll do it live truck driving couple gets kicked out of a bucky's because they're truck drivers <laughs> All right, in today's podcast, we're going to be talking to Dawn. Her and her husband, Richard, decided to go into a Bucky's in Baytown, Texas to get the Bucky's experience. But the experience that they came across was not the Bucky's experience that they was inspecting. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. It's Dawn, right? Correct. Just like the morning. All right. Dawn in the building. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, Dawn, I was, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a member of several trucking groups on Facebook, as well as a member of uh, CDL Life, where I first got wind of this story, man. And I, I, I just... I I just couldn't believe uh what I saw and what I had and what I have read. Now, let me get everybody up to speed. Um you and your husband y'all from Ohio. You guys decided yeah. to you know, you decided to say bump it we're we're empty nesters and we just going to go ahead and hit the road and enjoy life as we know it, right? Correct. Exactly. All right. So you guys travel up and down the highways and byways, and y'all happen to notice this big beaver with the big teeth that's everywhere. My dad would spend winters in Florida because he's also from Ohio. So I, I would take trips in my car and travel down south. And I'm like, one of these days I'm going to stop in there. And it just never seemed like the right time. But it was always one of these days I'm going to stop in. All right. So you decided to, you decided that that day, uh, that day was back in April. Am I, am I correct to saying that? Like April 24th, 25th, yes. All right. Exactly. So that day was in April, April twenty, April 24th, because your post was, you, you posted it April 25th. So you... Oh, if, I, if I posted it April 25th, it happened April 25th. Okay. I literally got kicked out of the store, came out, shot pictures, got on my phone, and posted the story right. I, because I was that upset. Amen. Just always a mistake. You should always think before you post. <laughs> as always, <laughs> as always. So, guys, <laughs> well, the the store that we're talking about is Bucky's, and I, like I said, when I when I saw the story, I I I just couldn't believe it. So, Don, take us back to that that fateful day that you decided that that day was the day to go in there and take in the atmosphere? Well, to, to go back just a couple days before that, um, we had just dropped at, at in Houston. 
um, my husband was like, okay, do, do we want to do our reset at Bucky's? Because we had seen the signs. There are literally signs for a hundred miles in every direction before a store. And I'm like, no, let's, let's just stay here. Cause we were at a truck friendly place. I said, let's just stay here. Um, do our reset. We'll pop in there, just see what it's all about. And then we'll go on to new Orleans. And so he's like, okay. So that, that was the plan. So then the day that we go to leave after our reset, we go in, it was maybe 10 miles down the street from where we had done our reset. Um, and, getting, okay, so this one, this was the one that's in Baytown, Texas. I'm I'm very familiar with uh, Baytown, uh, Texas. Go ahead. Yes, this, Baytown, this, Baytown, Texas. So, we well, we had done our reset in Channel View, so you know, there's it's not that far from Channel View to Baytown. Um, we we go in, everybody is giving me grief. You you know trucks aren't allowed. You know trucks aren't allowed. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There's signs everywhere saying no trucks. I honestly, they, they were ground level. I was not looking down. Was that my fault? Maybe. But I was looking at the store. It was like, you know, when you see in the cartoons and they have the lit up like in ice age the lit up acorn it, that's what it was like it, and all like i only had eyes for the for the store and so my husband takes me and we park and we're we fit inside of two parking spots there's um pickup trucks hauling um trailers there's rvs there's you know everything there parked all over the parking lot we're just a little bobtail we go in, no issues. I, I'm shopping. I'm looking at things. I've got things in my hand, um, outfits for my grandsons. I have two grandsons that are, I have one that's two and one that's five months. And so I was looking at clothes for them and we were looking at a granite cutting board and really, I already had probably fifty to a hundred dollars in in my hands, and we had only done one side of the store, not even all the way to the other end. And we were at the wall of jerky. Two um, employees come walking up to us, and and I had been mingling and talking to people. I had even approached a couple other um, employees asking questions. You know, I was just shopping. I was just taking in the atmosphere. And the the one guy asked my husband if that was his truck parked out in the parking lot. And my husband said, yes, it is. And I don't know how else to describe it, but we were herded out the door. I mean, they literally were in our space, pushing us towards the exit as they were telling us that we weren't allowed to purchase anything, that we weren't allowed there. And that, and, and I asked questions, you know, I'm like, why, what, what's wrong? And he's like, you're, you're not, you're, you're not allowed to be here. You're, you have a, a truck. And I said, well, how is that any different than the RVs that are out there? We're, we're bobtailing. And he's like, because it's a semi. And it was just his, his tone, the, the whole way that he was talking to me specifically he was really just so rude and condescending it was just i was absolutely humiliated and embarrassed mm. and i mean we were back up almost to the front of the store and i
my God, that is the best coffee I've ever tasted. I because I was I was in such disbelief. I was like clenching the things that I had to my chest. Like I had both hands on them, and I was like clenching it to my chest because I I I just I couldn't believe that this was real. I couldn't believe that it was that this was really happening, that we were really being treated this way for driving a truck. And then I, I thought, okay, you know, we, we got out of the store, we, we left, you know, like I said, I went out, I took pictures, I made my post, I posted it. And then the very next thing I did was go to the Bucky's website because I wanted to let them know what had just happened to me. All right, let's bring it. Let's bring it back a little bit uh, before we go to the uh, before we go to what you did at the Bucky's uh, website. And I, I myself, I I just want to apologize, uh, you know, because what was the the, the treatment that the, how you was treated there was very very unprofessional. It was it was disrespectful. And you know, and it, 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 and and for them employees, just to be rude to you wasn't wasn't cool at all. That was my main issue with why I was upset. That's why I started my post with "I am so upset." It wasn't that I wasn't allowed to shop at Bucky's. Okay, that's fine. If you would have met me at the door and said, "I'm sorry, we don't allow trucks of any kind in our parking lot." We would have said okay and we would have left. Had they approached us in the back of the store and said, uh, is that your truck? And my husband would have said yes. And if they would have said, if you can please move it and then we'll, we'll be more than happy, move it off our property and we'll be more than happy to let you shop in our store. But none of that happened. It was, I felt abused. I, I really felt verbally assaulted by the way they treated so you so you guys are in there y'all you know before you guys was accosted you guys was having fun y'all was you was chatty uh you was taking in the atmosphere yeah. and then up all of a sudden these two employees just popped up out of nowhere and and just told you right off the rip that you guys are not allowed in there because your truck drivers or because your your truck was on the parking lot then they couldn't do you feel that they could have just at least say okay um is that your truck outside sir and of course he would have said yes well we don't allow semi trucks on the property um if you would you know we see that you got some items in your hand and you would like to purchase so we would just like to tell you that you know just go ahead and finish up your shopping and for future references that there is no truck parking of any kind bobtail or tractor trailer on the property if they would have came and told you that how would the situation would have been would have been fair for you guys and how would you would have felt if they did came to you that way it, it would have been night and day difference. Uh, we we would have understood. We would have said, okay, I, I'm sorry. We didn't realize that. We thought it was only no 18 wheelers. Um, but if it's no trucks, that, that's not a problem. We'll, we'll, we'll leave. You know, which is, you know, what ended up happening, but it was just the professionalism just the 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 way the way we you presented it is just night and day different in the way that we were treated. Mm. We were tr literally treated like garbage. We were treated like not even second, but probably third or fourth class citizens. Wow! Like we did not matter at all. Like we were dirt under his boots. Wow! Or you know, dung on his boots. That's the way he treated us. Now, as far as you guys parked, uh, we're in the parking lot because you guys did take pictures. 
But where exactly in the parking lot did you guys park? Because like like me, when I if I bobtail to, you know, to a a a, a place like that, like maybe a love. I mean, not loves. I'm sorry. Maybe a, you know, maybe a a, a big Walmart, box store, a Walmart. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I will park in the I will we, park in the back or park out the way and you know and not take up that many spots. <laughs> We, we did not. <laughs> that that's a very good question. And hindsight is is twenty twenty. Um, we parked probably the second row back from the door. Like we took up two parking spots, but there was one row. But <laughs> there were all those other, like I said, RVs and and things. The the picture with the RV. Um, the it looked like a single axle axle semi to me, but people are saying that it's called something different. I don't know, um, but whatever. That one hauling the RV and then the motor coach hauling the car, both of those were off in an area where we normally would have parked had we had a trailer or been. If we knew we were going to be taking up a lot of space or they didn't have the room, there was, there was parking, open parking all the way around us. There, I mean, there was, n we were not in anybody's way. Mm -hmm. you guys got kicked out. Uh, did they, did they even give you the opportunity to purchase the stuff that you no. wanted or was, or was it to the point that stuff back and I'm, I'm, I'm out. No, it was flat out. You are not allowed to purchase anything here. Those were the words that came out of his mouth. You are not allowed to purchase anything here. And I was still holding on to it. Even, I mean, it felt like forever, but I'm sure it was only maybe 30 30 seconds to a minute. I mean, it wasn't long, but it felt long, if you know what I mean. And um, by the time we got up towards the front of the store, my husband's like, just give them their stuff, honey. We'll, we'll spend our money or we'll go someplace that wants to take our money. And when I say two employees, it was really only the man that was speaking. There was another um smaller younger woman and you could tell that she was uncomfortable by what she she didn't say anything she was kind of just there there but she she did not participate in what happened at all but um so i i took my stuff i handed it to her and we walked uh 10 feet to, after i handed it to her I, and then my they they said the cashiers said bye have a nice day <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> literally as they see us being escorted out of the store saying bye have a nice day and my husband made some kind of comment about um yeah, yeah it's not I'll, a nice day <laughs> you know <laughs> i'll take my money elsewhere or something like that you know and the guy piped back he's like now you're thinking now you're being smart wow now you know <laughs> i it, you know i i see things like this that happens all the time i see people that make uh tiktok videos uh facebook videos talking about their experiences with places that you know that they have some problems with and i will be the one in the comments that be like well look don't worry about it just you know just don't, don't go back and patronize them you know if you get done bad just don't patronize them no more it's it's like when you get it's like when you go to a restaurant and that and that waitress gave you like bum service is you going to go back to that restaurant with that same rest, I mean, with that same waitress? No, you're not. You're not. You you're gonna take your money where your money is appreciated, and it just seems as though right. your money wasn't appreciated there, all because you guys were truck was truck drivers. Drink the coffee; it'll make you feel better. Don, let's flip the script on them for a minute because you did say you you did say, hey, you you guys accept y'all 
uh, freight from truck drivers. So when we're in the back, when when your freight is here and the truck drivers is in the back, what do you do? You what? You tell them to stay in the truck and they can't come inside and shop while they getting unloaded. What's the deal with that? You know? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's like you. It's like you said. Y'all can't. Y'all can deliver to the store. Y'all can deliver the products, but but we can't shop in the store. Right, right. That's that's and, and when, for. When, when I went to their web, well, the other there's two things. Let's, it's it's actually twofold. If you've ever been near a Bucky's, you will see their their billboards, and it says "Everyone Welcome." Every when exactly it, you know, yes. It Huge says, billboards. Everyone welcome. Everybody's welcome. <laughs> Come on in. Yep. So so that. Yeah. Yep. So so that's one, and then two. If you go to the website, it says no eighteen wheelers. So everybody, I, I, ever since I posted this, I've been attacked. Um, I, I've gotten support. Or attack. <laughs> and that, mean, yeah, that's always on social media. You're gonna you're gonna have you, your you know, there, you're gonna have your of hand of support, and then you're gonna have a and then you're gonna have your hand of of a lot of uh, uh, backlash. You know, a, a lot of Bucky, right. quote unquote Bucky supported. Well, you know you're 18. You know you're a semi truck, and you're not supposed to be on the asphalt or the uh, this that. And, the, and then they got signs all over. But as you said. You know, they probably had signs posted letting you know no tractor, you know, no tractor trailers. And we get that. No 18 wheelers. We, yes. Right. No 18 exactly. wheelers. We get that. So we will drop the trailer and then we'll bobtail. Like, huh? You know. But the, the other thing, yeah. And, and, and so that, that really, because we were a bobtailer. We were, we had, we were bobtailing. So I, we thought that we were well within their guidelines to shop at their store. We weren't an 18 wheeler. We were a Bob Taylor. So we saw that we had weren't doing anything wrong. My, my other thing is with everything that we've gotten, I have had people tell me, Oh, well, I went in there and shopped and not had any issues. And then I've had other people tell me that they have parked off site de delivering across the street and tried to walk onto the promise premises and were met in the parking lot and told they had to leave. They weren't allowed to shop there. Huh? I got another message from a guy in a in a van trying to get gas and him and his son went into the store and he was he was picking up a couple things um his wife wanted a pop and his son had special needs they and this is the baytown location they approached him and told him that they didn't want his kind in the store what a special needs boy what so we looking at this particular bucky store in baytown texas and i really hate to use the word but we looking at discrimination here yes am yes. i am i Hard, fair to say hardcore that? yeah it, it is hardcore because they they have turned away veterans because of the way they look, uh, they they discriminated against a father with a special needs son. They discriminated against someone trying to walk onto the uh, a truck driver trying to walk onto the property. Uh, it, it is, and I, I'm not going to say that it doesn't happen at the other locations, but a lot of people have have mentioned the other locations and being allowed to park a bobtail and run in or park uh, on the side of the road and go in and shop.
How? That particular location, I have gotten so many messages about how they had people I had cops posted outside and regular people in their cars feel like they're being treated like criminals because of the, the police presence at that Bucky. All right. So we're going to leave that as an alleged uh, situation and we'll just concentrate on you guys experience at this particular Bucky's right here. Um, all right, so Don, you made the post, um, uh, and it, it pretty much went viral. I mean, you know, a lot of a lot of news outlets picked it up, uh, CDL Life picked it up. That's where I got the story from. Um, you you said you went to the Bucky's website and you made a complaint there, uh. Did yeah. they did Bucky's because this happened back in April 25th. This is like what May uh, is picking up steam now because, you know, because everybody is sharing it and everything. But now that is, you know, yeah. like May 13th or something like that. Have you heard anything back from the from corporate to rectify the situation that happened to you at that Baytown location? No. And in actuality, um, when you when you go to their web page, um, it gives you a, a long list of things to um, that you have to answer questions and answers. Yes, no. Yes, no. I, I finally got to the end. I had to put in all my information, including my phone number. I told them, please feel free to call me. Um, I, I, I could not believe that they, they wouldn't want to know about this. Um, so I waited a week with out hearing anything. And then I got, I, I went on again and, and sent them another, um, set of, you know, this is what happened. Please reach out to me and still nothing. Now, I don't know if you've had a chance to see, but there is an article. Um, I'm assuming that Bucky's put it out um, because there's all kinds of advertising from Bucky's in it. And the headline reads that a, a couple allegedly kicked out um, is trying to change a long-term policy or something like that. That that is not accurate or true. I, if if they don't want to allow semi trucks, that's that's their right as an American business. That is right. Businesses have the right to refuse service to anyone. For right. you know, right. And that is their right. I don't agree with it, but it is their right. Um, but my problem is if you're going to have that policy, do it ac across the board a every, you know, you, you can't say no, no 18 wheelers and then also not allow Bob Taylor's. You can't say our, our parking lot wasn't designed for this. But then you allow a dually pickup truck hauling a 30-foot trailer with heavy equipment on it. Mm. You know, if you, you, the, 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 there's, you know, you're sitting there saying that your, your parking lot, that's their reasoning for not allowing semis in there, 18-wheelers in there, is their parking lot isn't designed for it. Just, you, just be truthful and honest with people. You, you That's know, all I'm saying. They, if you don't want to sign. They uh, want to say that they don't allow 18-wheelers. That's cool because of the gross weight. I get it. Uh, again, you know, without the trailer, I would assume that the bobtail truck would be just fine. It don't take up that much space. You know, it don't take up that much space as if you was to have the trailer. 
But I agree with you 100% because they allow Greyhound buses, coach buses. You, they, they allow uh, hot shots that 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 carries you know that carry like cars and stuff like they allow fifth wheels that's what that's what they call some of them some of them uh trailers those home trailers some of them is called fifth wheels uh you know with the, like you said with the dually trucks and and they got they big camper you know like they huge campers like i seen like off the highway i seen uh vehicles of that magnitude all in their parking lots like i said greyhound buses coach buses they get people they have like tours there like literally they get on everybody get on the coach bus and everything just to go to a bucky's to take in the atmosphere there and and sometimes those coach buses have an additional trailer on the back of the on the back of the coach which you know, which the gross weight should come close to a, a semi truck, and I, 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 I wholeheartedly agree with you. If you're not, if you're not going to allow vehicles of that magnitude on the on on the parking lot, then you should a have an area. You should have an area where. Uh, vehicles of you know large commercial vehicles and vehicles that's a little bit heavier you should have an area where they park but as you said in the article that they you know that we're trying to change the culture that they had for years because it looks as though that every Bucky's don't have truck parking but we don't know that until we actually get you know, like you say, you found out from the website, and then when you do pull up on the on the parking lot, the signs is so inconspicuous, you wouldn't even know that you know that you couldn't park on there until somebody, of course, come and let you know. Hey, we got signs outside. Like, okay, where, bro? Oh, it's right there in the cut, right over there where you can't see it out of eye level. Oh, okay, well. No, no problem. I, you know, get back in the truck and, and then I'll move. I'll find somewhere else to park and then I'll come back and shop. That's all. I mean, they, they, you know, to from your experience, this young man should, should have had a better demeanor with with you guys. I mean, I would, I couldn't imagine the, the your your feelings, the fear, like, like. You know, you guys getting pushed out, talked down to, and everything. And this and this is your first time there. So let me ask you this, Don. This is the Baytown location. Uh, since your experience with this particular location, is that did that pretty much turn you off from all the locations? Did, uh I, I kind of chuckled and said, is, it, is that a trick question? Because my husband was like, we will never step foot in one of these again. And I'm like, but I liked a lot of their stuff and I only got to see half the store. <laughs> you know, I'm a typical woman and, and I didn't get to see all of it. So, um, I would never go back to Baytown. I would never put myself in the position to be ridiculed. Uh, the guy that, that did all this, I don't know. They never identified themselves. Mm. Um, but they had different shirts on than the other employees. So I don't know if he was the store manager, the district manager, um, if he was security. I don't know. Um, I, I, he did, they didn't identify themselves. So I, I don't know who they were. Um, I would never even in a, in a car go back to that location, but in a car, I may, I may go to another, um, location. That's me. 
All yeah, right. I mean, I may put that coffee down. I believe in forgiveness. I believe in second chances. I believe everybody deserves, you know, a do over. Um, you you said about the rest the restaurant and mm -hmm. the waitress with the bad service. Mm -hmm. I absolutely would go back to that restaurant, especially if the food was good. You don't know if the waitress was just having a bad night. I before I joined my husband in the truck, I um worked retail. I was a restaurant manager. I there's no way I would have ever even thought about speaking to somebody the way I was spoken to. And I was also raised to respect my elders. And uh, there's, there's just no way I would speak to somebody like that. It, it just was, there's no way. But I wouldn't put myself in the position of being spoken to that way I, because I would drive a car. If I ever, if I ever went into their location, location. A, a, any location again. Dawn, uh, thank you very much for coming on and sharing your experience with us, man. Um, as you're as you was talking, I'm I'm going over the pictures, and you, you're exactly right. There there's a motor coach right here. There's there's actually a, a, a what looks as though as a as as a as a as a truck again that's pulling the like I said that's that particular uh, RV right that, there. That, that particular RV is like a a, a fifth wheel. And that's taking up, that's taking up more spots than than what you guys was taking up. And then yeah, we, and we fit easily in two parking spots. Those two pictures show them sh taking up six to eight parking spots easily. Right. And then, easily. and then of course, uh, of course, the dually, the uh, the the Ford three fifty that got the, uh, uh, of course, that got the heavy, uh, the heavy equipment on there. So, yeah, man, I'm I'm just flabbergasted at, at at how they treated you, and and you guys only took up like like literally two spots, and and by the looks of it, you're out of the way, not bothering no other you know no other parking spots or anything like that, man. So we're not impeding we're not impeding their business at all. We we. We, we had no intentions of staying there. You know, we were going to go in, maybe get a bite to eat. But, but seriously, what, if I could have, if, if Bucky's would say, okay, what, what can we do that would satisfy this and make it all go away? I would say twofold. One, I, I need an apology. I, I deserve an apology Facts. You for, deserve the, an for apology. the way we were treated. Yes, very much so. And, and and secondly, if you're not allow, if you're not going to allow Bob Taylor's, then put on your sign "No Commercial Vehicle" and make it an across the across the board across the bucky. Yeah, uh, you know, enforced, but don't or. or just say, yes, bobtails are welcome. I'm sorry, we're still not going to allow 18-wheelers, but bobtails are welcome. You know, commercial vehicles are welcome, but you have a three-hour parking limit. You right. can only park for three hours. Right, right. Because you you and I both know, you you and I both know what truck stop parking lots can look like. Mm -hmm. And I understand they don't want that. I get that. But one, not all of us are like that. No. And 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 two, it, it's my sincere and honest belief that if you put a three-hour time limit, most of us are going to be in and out within that time limit anyway. Mm -hmm. But it, it still, you know, allows for you to save face. Because right now you have a whole bunch of mud on your face exactly 
like I said, it's it, it's going, you know, it's picking up steam and it's going pretty much viral right about now. Other than myself reaching out to you because a couple of other YouTubers uh, has talked about your uh, your experience there. But uh, I'm I'm just thankful that you you know that you was able to uh, you know grant me the the opportunity to you know to speak with you in person and get to meet you know get to meet you you know because I'm from Ohio too so um, right to have oh, have and, and anybody, you know we're we're nice people <laughs> <laughs> you know right have have anybody yeah. have other than uh, other than CDL life and the rest of the and the rest of the news outlets picking it up. Has anybody other than myself reached out to you to get your story? Um, if if you look up the the Bucky story that I referenced earlier, that references my SA. Um, San Antonio Times reached out. They're the ones that um, was the initial, um, and I think they're. Um, he was what really blew it up and caused it to go massive to everywhere. Um, and I have had two other reporters message me, um, but as of yet, nothing has come from those. Um, so really, I've only talked to the one from San Antonio and yourself. All right. Very good, ma'am. Very good, ma'am. And, and of course, we, we are still waiting for a response from Bucky's corporate to reach out to you themselves. Am, am I, am I safe well, to say that? Uh, absolutely. And that that's one of the funny things is I just reached out to um, one of the um, other people that would like to interview me. And I'm like, Hey, um, I thought you were going to call me today for an interview and he's like oh I'm sorry I, I got busy but we're going to hold off until we get a response from Bucky's and I'm like oh well I'll never hear from him again oh, 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 wow wow I mean wow um, that's if you I mean I can Bucky's, understand listen um, listen I, I can understand you know trying to trying to get two sides of the story but wow that's kind of crazy that they would actually turn down the opportunity to to yeah. at least get your story on record and then while your story is right there in the hopper they can get bucky's response yeah that, oh that's crazy yeah yeah, yeah wow. they, he, he actually told me that they weren't going to move forward until they heard from Bucky's. Um, so, uh, you know, it, if, if you go to Bucky's website, you can read the reviews. I strongly recommend to your readers that they do that. Um, I just took the opportunity a couple days ago to do that. I also recommend um, to your listeners that they just try to call a Bucky's location. Anyone. At call anyone. Because they don't answer their phones. It's literally a recording sending you to their website and then they don't respond on their website. They have terrible customer service. Terrible. Mm. Um then also I would strongly recommend to your listeners that they go to the Better Business Bureau and type in Bucky's and look at what others outside of the Bucky's verse and outside of the trucking verse have to say about that store. It, it is not just my story. Um, I think it's become. I think the reason why it's resonated and went viral. What? I don't need you to tell me how fucking good my coffee is, okay? I'm the one who buys it. I know how good it is. When Bonnie goes shopping, she buys shit. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. It's the day. Um, it's because you're a truck driver. People drivers. are saying that they're... 
people are saying that they're sick of cancel culture and that was not my intention. And I don't, I don't believe in wiping away our history, but I do believe that people deserve to be treated with respect always, no matter who they are or what they are. And could you imagine going to Walmart in a Jeep and getting half your groceries in your cart and then security coming up and saying, leave you came here in a jeep you're not allowed to come you're not allowed to be here i'm, I'm not sure about the jeep don but yeah i have seen <laughs> I, I have seen a few uh walmart videos of that magnitude of people being asked to get yeah, hurt you know get out leave and all sorts of shenanigans that's going on at walmart but uh as far as, <laughs> as far as truck drivers i mean even with walmart you know, at least, you know, with the exception of the, the shenanigans that goes on there, at least they employees would at least say, oh, OK, if that's your truck outside, uh, you can continue to shop. But just know that you're not able to, you know, stay on the property overnight park, overnight park right. a couple of hours to to shop. You know, a lot of us truck drivers would even go inside and be like, hey, you know, that's my semi outside. I'm only going to be in here for a couple of minutes. I'm just getting stock. And they will let us do that. Yeah. You know, and then we'll exactly. go. Exactly. We, yeah. we, we've had no problem. My husband, my husband is on antibiotics. And um, so we have to get refills. And uh, it's he, he has a a chronic condition that's been going on since October. Um, and he needs um, refills every month. We pull into Walmart. We call his doctor, tell him what area of the country we're going to be in. They call in the prescription. We go in. We get his prescription filled. We have never, ever, ever had an issue there or other, you know, other locations, not just Walmart. I mean, I'm, I was using them for an example. Right. But there's so many other places that are trucker friendly. We don't need Bucky's. Bucky's needs us. Mm. And it's time for them to realize that. Mm. You know? Bucky's need us. That's what's up. Don, <laughs> thank you very much, man. Awesome. You're welcome. Uh, Thank I, you. I, I really appreciate uh I, I really appreciate you as a trucker. So thank you, trucker, for what you do. Uh, I appreciate your husband for not flipping the script, not turning into, you know, uh, a camera culture and, 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 you know, and everything. I appreciate him for it, for that. You guys, you know, you guys bowed out, um, gracefully and you, you did it the way you done it. You know, you, you, okay, no problem. Here's your stuff. We'll leave, but you you know you posted it on your Facebook of your experience, which was bad, which is always you know which was always bad, and I'm sure if you had a good experience, I'm sure you would have posted that as well. But you know it's unfortunate that you know the experience was bad. Us truck drivers are disrespected in more ways than one. You know, and it's yeah. just uh, it's just crazy how we trying we're we're trying to change the narrative and it's just and yes. we can't never change yes. it because we run into so many issues like Bucky's. Yeah. So Yes. I, I mean you you can't expect the good ones to continue staying and being good truck drivers if they're going to continue to, if they're going to continue to harass us, to mistreat us. And I mean, a lot of the old timers, a lot of them that have been in it, you know, since the late seventies, early eighties, you know, a lot of them are retiring now and it, it's up to the younger generation to step up and, and do it right, you know, to, to say, hey, you know, we're going to clean up our garbage. We're, we're going to um, 
obey the laws. We're going to obey the rules. We're not going to um, take the drug so we can run 20 hours on paper. You know, we're going to do it the right way. And it, it, it's not, not every woman that is in a truck stop is a lot lizard. Not, you know, every <laughs> truck driver is is making a mess and, and doing things the wrong way. And it's time for us as an industry to stand up and say, we, you know, there's, there's good in us too. We're, we, we're good. We, we need to, we need to do better. We need to do better. Yeah. And, and, and there, and there's always room for improvement there, in, in any, in any industry, but you know, we, we have giant targets on our back because we're we're so plentiful and everybody sees us and you know we're everywhere so we have giant targets on our back if we even begin to do something wrong you know like us pulling in to bucky's in a bobtail well why didn't you know better and oh this is splitting hairs you're not allowed don't you know that it says no truck you know, yeah, I uh, mean, if that's the case, that one picture that actually clearly shows a truck that's 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 pulling the that's pulling that huge caravan, that huge fifth wheel. I mean, we could do ooh. apples to oranges here. I mean, you know, we we understand and, we we and, understand trucks, but you know when no. you but when you separate. The tractor from the trailer, you know, uh, we we can we can really? fully under we can fully understand. I, I just I appreciate you being so kind to me and and just getting the the word out there to beyond the trucking community that we're people too. We have a hard job and we're doing the best we can. Please be kind and treat us with respect, and we will do likewise. Exactly. And on that note, Dawn, your husband, I know that you guys are going to need to get some rest because y'all got to get back on the road, as I do. Thank you for the opportunity, and you guys stay safe out there, and, uh, and, and, uh, and keep me posted on... On whether or not that that one news or uh, that one news outlet reach back out to you, or if Bucky's come, you know, come and reach out to you as well. Uh, I I I will be singing from the rafters if if Bucky's ever gets in contact with me. I, I will be shouting it to everyone. That's what's because up. at this point, you know, it it's been three weeks. It's been almost a month. I do not ever expect to hear from them. I don't ever expect an apology. And I don't think I'm asking for too much to get one. <laughs> Big G's got it locked.